so I'm struck by that um, that whole saying of if you're nervous in front of a crowd, just imagine them naked. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of works here. So let's talk about that. Let's go ahead and just get naked, huh? Because what is that really? It's just the removal of the layers that we put in place. This is really hard with one hand <laughs> to protect us from that which makes us vulnerable. Take it off me, would you? There we go. <laughs> So I had a naked party at my house once. I really did. I invited about 50 people. I fed them, I gave them drinks, and then I pulled away my layers. <laughs> Woo but I didn't get physically naked. What I did was get emotionally naked. And... This is who they met. And this is the art inside me. And the thing is, there's actually art inside all of us. And these canvases, they're like these crazy conduits through which we can meet and engage with our inner voice. And we start to create this, the alignment that we all need in order to start to do our work within the world. So I've met about 1,500 different people in this really insanely beautiful way as art. And so I wonder if I gave you a blank canvas and I painted your outline on it, how would you fill it? So it, this project, it was born from my own crisis, which was actually divorce. And I was, I was unprepared for this profound sense of loss and failure that I felt, because I felt like I failed my children, I failed my family, the system, and myself. But I had these degrees and I had a career, my big house behind a gated community, the BMW in the garage, and all of my children went to private school. So to everybody else except for me, I was living the dream. And when I turned away from it all, it was tremendously painful and scary, but what I found was myself. And when I learned to have compassion for myself and my own story, it just became automatic and I gave it to everybody else. And that was freedom. It really was. And that crisis, it was actually an opportunity. And I've been on this crazy, wild adventure ever since. Because that discovery, it was so powerful that I just want to share it with the world. It's Joseph Campbell who says that art is the set of wings to carry us out of our own entanglement. And it was, it was when tight became loose that I realized that everything I ever wanted, I had it all along. <laughs> it was right here. So let's get untangled, because <laughs> why do we come here? We travel from all over the world, and it's so much more than just plain dress up, because <laughs> We just want to be ourselves, and we want it so deeply. And then we get to participate in this community where the overwhelming feeling is not, what can you do for me, but what can I do for you? And that's, it's crazy, because two of those 10 principles of Burning Man are things like radical self-expression and inclusion, but the touchstone principle is immediacy. And that is just the desire to overcome the barriers between our inner selves and us, others, and a natural power that exceeds what we know. And those principles don't have to stay within the boundaries of Black Rock City. They can go outside and into every single community, because these are just canvases, right? <laughs> So, uh, who are we? This is an engineer, and if you look right here, it's just a flow chart, and that's when she, where she started. But it was when the colors started to camp come that she just broke free from this black and white life she was living in, and she found these beautiful spaces that lived between yes and no and right and wrong. It's just a canvas, right? 
but it's not, because it holds everything that you already know. So I'm curious is if any of you guys are wondering how you would start. What would that look like? Because who are we? We are rainbows. <laughs> we're a dance. And we were children, and we were born with this, <laughs> we were born naked, with this whole and perfect heart, and we were exactly what we loved. We were courageous, we were curious, and we asked a ton of questions because we just wanted to know why. And we, were, we believed and we just trusted. So why does that change? Who, who are we? Now we're scared and we're insecure. We're unsure of where we fit in. We think we're fat and we want to be skinny. And sometimes we just feel smaller than everyone else. And it's when we begin to believe those messages from society that we lose synchronicity and our rainbows start to fade. And again, 1,500 different people have created this artwork and not one child has ever said, I can't do this, I'm not creative, I'm not artistic. And in fact, they dive into these canvases and they're so, they can't wait to share their stories. But about 90% of the adults say, Sharon, I can't do this. I'm not artistic and I'm not creative, but you were once. You just have to reconnect to that person because this world, it is waiting and begging for your creative intelligence and for that fire that was lit in your heart so long ago. So who are we? This is my son, and I had no idea he thought he was a wimp, and he's 11 here. And he would never have sat down and told me, but he told this canvas. And when I asked him, what does that mean? He said, Mama, I don't like to go hunting, and I don't like to have airsoft wars. And I said, that just means you don't like to go hunting and have airsoft wars. And then we had this incredible discussion about what true strength is. So here he is now at 13. And if you look at these footprints here, he said, Mama, I'm the one that walks in color because I want to go where nobody else has ever been. Pretty incredible, huh? I have another son, and this is him when he was 13. And that tough all around, it told me he was already putting barriers around his heart. But here he is at 15. And keep in mind, these are two boys, 13 and 15, not even two years post-divorce. They stink like the anything. They're super hairy and they're a big raging hormone. But he put down the center split but one. He didn't break his heart. He actually duplicated it. He says, home is where the heart is. And I had no idea he knew what that symbol was, yin and yang, really. And he said, Mama, I just felt like it needed to be there because I realized I'm in balance and I can be one whole person in two places. <laughs> yeah, it's just a canvas, right? <laughs> but it's not. It's access to a hidden conversation that we must have as we move into this crazy, expanding world. So who are we? This is Daniel. He's an adventurer. He's a traveler. He's a discoverer. And he's also homeless. And we met over a glazed donut by the river. And he told me that we have to move forward with ourselves, with our human brains, with our emotions, and we need to learn to communicate better. And then he told me that we live the discovery, uh, that he lives the discovery channel every day. So we can all be the hero of our own adventure, but who are we? He's a Kenyan orphan, but he's also part of a family. This is crazy. He says he's a mouth to the speechless. He's a source of light. He wishes justice for all, and he plans to live a life without regret. 
it was Ted Speaker and civil rights attorney Brian Stevenson who said that our survival is tied to the survival of everyone and our visions of technology and design and entertainment and creativity must be married with visions of humanity and compassion and justice. So, who are we? We are sparkle ponies. <laughs> We're lovers and we're friends and we're this great part of nature and so recently I was up in this stunning glacial valley up in British Columbia and I settled in between two waterfalls to watch the sunrise and the glow on the horizon it taught me something about patience because what I realized is that there was nothing I could do but wait and participate in its natural unfolding but when those rays began to, <laughs> these are just spilling over those western peaks, and they were like paintbrushes full of energy and renewal across the sky. And all the granite spires around me, they hadn't changed, but it was the light on them that changed my perspective, and I could only wonder at that beauty. It was Cezanne who says that art is this harmony that it runs parallel to nature. And we are all actually part of that flow and that energy. And really, we are all these givers and we're receivers of light. And we have the power to shine on others and change their perspectives. We really can change things. So who are we? Did you? hear that? Because I did, because it's your call to adventure. And there's a bunch of canvases that I have here. And I, I want you to be courageous and curious and bring your art to the world. I have one for you. Because <laughs> we're all artists. And our art is whatever comes forward from our heart with purchase of purchase, <laughs> purpose, and passion. And it has this power to move others. So who are we? We are these beautiful souls. We do love, we are love, and we do belong. We are human and we're humanity because what's the point of me without you? So respect my story and I will respect yours. We are all connected. We are home. That's our truth. So let's get naked.